So I just got off an interesting call with a couple of guys that took a bit of a different approach to developing products. They came from a different space. They came from the beauty uh, and wellness world, and they jumped into the nutritional space um, because they sold their beauty line and they had an NDA, so with a non-compete, they couldn't uh, create another competitive line in that industry, so they jumped into a different industry. They are unique in the fact that they use Amazon as a research tool. So what they do is they find gaps in the market on Amazon, they then quickly ideate and develop a product for that path, um, test it out using the platform, and once it's deemed successful on there, that's when they develop the brand around it and they create other, um, you know, nutritional uh, differentiating products. So they went from keto to paleo and a couple other of the fad diets. Um, they created the products that kind of covered that niche and they found within that niche what's not being supplied. But what it, it allowed them to do, it allowed them to find what products work well, where the opportunities are, and use the feedback that they got directly from the customers to quickly change and adapt their products to fit what the customers wanted. So for example, they, they created a little snack line and the customer said that the portions were too large. So you know, it took them a week, they cut down the portions, had a new uh, batch shipped to Amazon and they were able to test and uh, get that feedback directly from the customer immediately that's important because whenever I advocate for a product going into retail, I always say to start local so you can get that feedback directly from the store owners or the customers. It's important because when you're doing that, you're not able to find out if your product size is too large. Nobody's going to tell you that. So these guys, they found a way to get around that by using the Amazon reviews to you know quickly understand what the customer wanted and uh, change it. But now they have a specific product that's very well qualified to be in retail. So we put them in touch with about 50 to 100 um, independent nutrition stores and independent grocers that are nutrition focused to try the product out by the checkout counter. We're gonna make sure that it's the right fit for the channel. We're gonna check their margins to find out if the margins are sufficient because they run on slimmer margins because they were on Amazon. So we're gonna test a higher price point at retail. We're gonna make sure the margins fit. And once that concludes, we're gonna be able to develop a path to market with our distributors and through regional grocery chains. So all of this is based on evidence and uh, sales success and feedback from the consumers, which is incredibly valuable and not done enough. So whenever you're trying to change your product up, do it based on reviews and based on that feedback to make sure that you track that and show the buyers that you're gonna be pitching to how your product has changed over time based on that feedback. It'll allow them to feel more comfortable that you're not you know, stone-hearted and you have a product and that's the way it'll be, but you're also open to options and you're willing to make those changes to make the product better so that it sells more and everybody makes more money. I hope something resonated with you with this video. Tell me about your product and comment in the section below. I'd love to speak with you about it.